Hey guys, Ramsa41SB here with another Mega Man X4 Let's Play, part of the Mega Man X series, which I am doing. And uh, this time around, we are playing Mega Man X4 as the alternative character in the game. We are playing as Zero, as the title of this video will tell. As I stated uh, in the Mega Man X, I'm going to try to make this as... as first time as possible if, if you're watching this before the X playthrough. Uh, basically in this game they decided that you can play as either X or Zero and this game is very different if you're playing as either character. Like uh, There's a different path to the bosses, different weapons. The, the character is basically a different game entirely, gameplay wise in my opinion. So it, it's going to be very interesting. You're getting a whole new experience. Maybe the same bosses and levels but for the most part there's different bosses sometimes. You'll get to see that soon if you watch both. Who are you? My masterpiece. But who are you? After him, he is my nemesis. Our rivalry is what gives me motivation in life. Now go. Destroy him. That's an order. What? Wait! Interesting. I also forgot to mention that it's a completely different storyline. Maverick, Maverick's emerged at the point five five six seven. They've occupied Sky Lagoon. This looks like Repla Force is doing. Repla Force. Okay, I'm on my way. Much better than X's intro. He didn't say I'm on my way. I am now on my way now. Let's go now. Anyways, Zero doesn't have a long-range weapon. He has the Z-Saber. And uh, although I think it's a little bit more powerful than X's sa uh, uh, Buster, it is a lot harder to handle it because you actually have to get in and you'll take a lot more damage as I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing here. Uh, in the first stage here, you can fight this boss if you want to. Like, you can wait for him to smash a claw on, this, on the ground or something, and then you can attack it. Um, it takes uh, it takes actually quite a bit of damage to actually kill it with the Z Saber, but uh, you can do it if you want to if you're like a hundred percent completionist or whatever. Uh, but you don't really need to. All you have to do is keep moving past here. Uh, first stage zero basically uh, it just like X in the previous games and in this one has starts off with a dash uh, and an attack. That's basically it. Uh, be prepared to take a lot of damage damage with zero uh, when you're first starting out. Um, Make ample use of the little floating um, machines that give you health. <laughs> Dragoon, you're in the 14th unit. Why? This doesn't look good, Zero. That Maverick took out power. What? Then the Sky Lagoon will come crashing into the ground. Yes, and destroy the entire city. We have to do something. It's too late. I must escape now. You'd best do the same, Zero. Damn. If the Sky Lagoon falls, it'll be disastrous. There's no time. We're going down. Sky Lagoon Part 2. Every level in this game has like two parts in it, like this, so... The carnage. It's horrible. Those Mavericks will pay for this. Yes, so yeah, like, yeah actually, even the music in this level is different. It's the same in most of the other levels, but this level... The intro levels actually have different music for each character. That's kind of funny, even though it's like same level. Uh, blocks that fall on you, it's instant death, so you have to be careful with them. There is a lot of instant death in this game. Be very, very cautious. And, uh, yeah, those things shoot lasers. Pew, pew, pew. Um, Zero Saber is able to stop some small projectiles if they're destroyable, but uh, for the most part, you're pretty much defenseless when it comes to the long-range weapons. You need to be ready to dodge, and dodge well. Thankfully, most of the, uh, Zero 
with uh, some weapon upgrades and such is probably mo even more is way more maneuverable than X uh, is because it makes sense. Oh, who is that? Iris, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Zero, did you come to save me? Yes, hang on. A huge maverick appeared and stay here, Iris. I'll handle. Is this really one of the Repl Forces? I don't have a moment to spare. I have to defeat him, or else. Who could him be? Oh, jeez. Giant maverick dog dragon thing. Okay, so this is the first boss of the game. Basically, just go up. You have to hit him above the waist. Can't hit the legs on him. Yeah, just have to deal damage to him. He will uh, slash at you like that. Ow, I still was in range. And he'll fire lasers like this, or he will fire a just a short burst of three with uh, targeting or charge at you and hit you. He's a pretty easy boss. Just take him out quickly with the Z Saber. No big deal. Zero. Long time no see. Colonel, what are you doing here? I've come to save my sister, Iris. I only hope she's okay. She's fine. I just rescued her. Oh, thanks, Zero. I owe you one. Colonel, I have a question for you. Did your unit attack this place? What are you talking about? Repl Force came here to help. We weren't involved in the attack. They suspect you've become a maverick. What? Disarm and come with me to the HQ. I'm afraid I can't... I can't. Soldiers never drop their weapons. I would, won't do it. Not even for you, Zero. Then they'll think you're a maverick. So be it. The Repla Force prefers war over dishonor and shame. Goodbye, Zero. Wait, Colonel, listen to me! Damn, this isn't good, Colonel. They may decide the entire Repla Force is a group of mavericks. Mavericks. Uh, ma mavericks. Yeah. That's not good. I'm going to save for slot one. Because slot three is also a completed zero file. <laughs> Brave soldiers of Repliforce, we have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together, we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Without fear, for we are the Repl Force. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! <laughs> the General has finally taken action. And now, my Maverick Hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <laughs> Well, things are getting hectic. Iris, what are you doing here? My brother Colonel started the coup. I know. Please, don't fight against him. This must be some kind of mistake. They've occupied several cities already. As a hunter, I must stop them. Zero. I must go now. Okay, here comes the eight mavericks of the game. Web Spider in the jungle. Infiltrate enemy occupied jungle and destroy the weapon under construction. Cyber Peacock in cyberspace. A bug has corrupted the network. Dive into cyberspace and exterminate it. Storm Owl at the Air Force. The Repli Force ship has taken off. Pursue and blast it out of the air. <clears throat> Magma Dragoon in the volcano. Dragoon of the 14th unit is a traitor. Locate and bring him back to Hunter HQ. Uh, Jet Stingray in the Marine Base. Repli Force decimated the city and left. Pursue them on aboard a land chaser. This is a unique level. You are aboard a land chaser. It's basically a hover bike, like in uh, Mega Man X3, 2. 
an Overdrive Ostrich's level. If you watch that Let's Play, you can go back and see it. There, there's an, uh, there's one in there. Uh, that's actually one of the... That's actually what you need to get the Heart Tank in that level. Ha! Uh, anyways, yes, that's uh, that level. Yeah. Uh, split Mushroom in bio in the bio lab. The abandoned lab is now operational. Investigate and destroy the lab. Uh, slash Beast on the military train. A military train is moving supplies. Cut off Repl Force's supply route. And Frost Walrus at the snow base. We've discovered a hidden snow base. Halt production of their new weapon. Yep, here comes the eight uh, Maverick levels we have to defeat to continue on in the game to reach the final stages. Um, be, uh, if you watched the X playthrough, I mentioned it in that one. I'm going to mention it now. Uh, the path you take with zero and uh, is different from the one you take with X. The first level may be the same, and some of the some of the paths may be generally the same. Uh, Zero's path is a little bit more open in what you can do because not every boss actually has a weakness associated with the like uh, the techniques you get with zero from the bosses for zero aren't necessarily a weakness against another boss. A couple of these bosses actually have no weakness in weapons, which makes them a lot harder to fight as zero. But uh, some of them have actually a couple of them have uh, have the same weakness, so it's very different. There's a couple of different pathways. There's a couple of different splits you can do in the path. Uh, but the, it all starts here with uh, Web Spider. So let's go at it. Yeah, let's do this. Ready! Rainbow! Okay, so at this point of the game, you're weak. You're weak as all hell, and Zero is, uh, even though he's really kick-ass with his sword and everything, you, um, you still want to be very careful and avoid all the damage you can. Unfortunately, Zero in, is a lot harder to use in certain circumstances. Like, some of these enemies that we absolutely, that uh, X is absolutely able to destroy, Zero is not able to. On the other hand, Zero is much more better, much better against some enemies than X. These enemies are a good example because of these things are spinning their blades like that. They cannot actually be attacked by the sword, which kind of sucks. Thankfully, if you get a good hit on them, they get stunned. Um, you just have to be careful where, where you're rushing through and uh, what you're doing. Just mind your footing. Ow. Ow. I hate this enemy. Yes, health! Let's go like this. There. Oh crap! So yeah, you just have to be very careful because you don't have much health right now, and although Zero is always kick ass, it's just you can't take too many hits. Um, unlike X, Zero does not have any armor upgrades at all in the game, so he doesn't have any of the fourth or fourth armor upgrades in this game, which is why I didn't go for the leg upgrade. That is also in this level. We are actually in this level so we can get a kick ass. Uh, attack from the boss, which is not only good against the next level we want to go to, like, um, it's a the weapon that's strong against another boss, and the boss's weapon that, uh, and the boss that it's good against has a very kick-ass technique, which will be, make this game a lot easier for, this is what I mean, which is a lot better for Zero. Basically, we're killing this boss so we can kill another boss to get a ki even ki more kick-ass technique. Actually, I think it's two techniques. Yeah, it's two. It's kind of cool. It's the only boss in the game that actually gives you two techniques. Instead of special weapons, uh, Zero gets uh, sword techniques. Only one of Zero's weapons actually takes weapon energy. And uh, we'll get into that when we actually get the weapon. It's going to be like the third or fourth one we get, I think. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so uh, as such, you're able to use a lot of super weapons and just kick-ass combos and things with uh, Zero. So, uh... Feel free to use as many special weapons, make ample use of all of them. All all of them have their own unique uses. Um, there's only one which I don't actually recommend using that much because it, it doesn't give that much opportunity to do it. We'll get into that. It's the last weapon we get, so... It'll be the last weapon we get in the playthrough, so... It won't see much screen time is what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, anyways, just moving through the level. We've entered part two already. Uh, the heart tank in this level, uh, Zero still there gets heart tanks. Um, the heart tank in this level we cannot get until we defeat Magma Dragoon. So until then, we are just going to rush through the uh, levels on the uh, road here. Ah, uh, I kicked them all down. Oh, nope. Die. Let me through. Uh, jump over. Jump over. Yeah. 
Ow. I always get hit by that one. Bees! Okay, come on, just die. Thank you. And I'm through. Alrighty, here comes the uh, first boss of the game, Web Spider. He is kind of annoying. Ah, Zero. I've been expecting you. Spider, you work for Repliforce? Yes, I, I, uh, I lead a Reckoning Gate unit now. There's still time to call off the coup. No, I know where my loyalties lie. I'm not going to mimic the voice acting from X. I cannot remember what voices I gave who. Uh, anyways, this boss, uh, since all we can do is slash it, all you want to do is slash it. He will launch these webs at you. It is vital that you avoid them at all costs. Even if you just want, have to do like one slash and then run away, make sure you dodge. Take your time. You do not want to be hit by them because you want to save all the health you can for the second part because the second part's really annoying to do is with uh, cause, uh, at close range, which unfortunately zero is. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh man, I thought I got hit there. <laughs> okay, come on. Come down here. Uh, halfway through the battle, he will go into his uh, second phase where he'll get more annoying. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so you cannot hit him when he's like this. You just have to wait until he does his little pose there, and now you can hit him. So he will stay down here. You do not want to touch him. He will launch spiders out of his ass. Um, you can destroy the spiders. Oh, crap, 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 crap. The annoying part about those webs is that you do not want to be hit by him afterwards. You don't want the uh, follow-up hit from Spider to hit you, because spy touching spy getting hit by Spider is what gets damage to you, but still those things hurt you, and they will kill you. Oh, it's so hard to use Zero at the start of this game. <laughs> It'll get better after we defeat the second boss, but uh, right now it's kind of difficult to do anything with Zero. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Now we actually have full health. <sighs> And now I don't have to explain things, I can just go for the kill. And uh, unfortunately, Zero doesn't really get a uh, good air dash in this one like X did, because we got the X armor upgrade in this level, and we are able to dash over things a lot easier. Kind of sucks. Just not having air dash kind of sucks. I always like having air dash. I don't know why. So much more maneuverable. More dodge worthy, I guess. Whatever. Enough about X. This is Zero's game playthrough. Um. Yeah. Just dodge, jump over, dash under, whatever you need to do. Just make sure you don't get hit. So far, I'm doing a good job. So you can't hit him! Oh, uh, yeah, you can touch the web all you want, you just can't. Don't want to touch him because he does a lot of damage when he hits you. Oh, God damn it. I hate how it takes two shots to kill her. Oh, jeez! Yeah! Dodged it! Ow! Jeez, oh crap. See what I mean? It takes a lot. It hurts you a lot when he touches you. Bad touch! Bad touch! Oh jeez. There we go. That was a lot cleaner of a run. Just needed one good warm up. Yeah. That's all. I just needed a practice run. Yeah. Not that I did a practice run of the game earlier today. Come on, what? <laughs> What does it say you won? Uh, Rain Genki. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna apologize for my pronunciations now. Uh, if you push the special move button, which is the triangle button on the PlayStation 2. Uh, yeah, triangle button, while you're standing on the ground, lightning attacks. It will launch a lightning attack. It's basically a jab. And it's effective against distant enemies, because it's actually quite a long range of attack. So, yeah, it's... Got, we got our first attack of the game. Yeah, first Maverick weapon. Um, unfortunately, uh, as I stated before, not every weapon Zero gets from a boss is actually a weapon to use against it. Some of them are um, techniques to help uh, improve his maneuverability or uh, defenses or whatnot. So, next up, we're going to the uh, Bio Lab with against Split Mushroom.
Okay, warning to anybody who gets disoriented easily, this level is very disorienting just because of these stairwells, because the animation is on, is kind of awkward on them. Um, so just warning, this, there's a second stairwell as well, but, uh, uh, yeah. Just sorry to, but it's just part of the game, so. Go complain to the game designers if you get disoriented, sorry. I warned you! Uh, anyways, these stairwells get kind of annoying because of all the enemies on them. Uh, another enemy's gonna show up. That's uh, kind of this is kind of fruit. Look, I'm just dying here. Ah, come on. Just keep going, Sean. Oh, yes, health. Those things always drop health. Make ample use of them if you need to. They don't always show up though. I found a lot more of zero. I'm thinking it's because they you take as it's uh, they show up when you've taken ample amounts of damage. I always take a lot more damage of zero. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, the heart tank in this level we are not able to get it yet. Um, we will see it eventually as we play through. Uh, these beetles will just follow a path against you, and the flowers up there, as you can see, will respawn. They will shoot uh, an item, uh, a little orb at you. You just need to destroy them and move on. They respawn all the time, so. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Die. Oh, jeez. He shot me. That's not cool. You don't shoot people, man. Especially with a sword. I'm bringing a sword to a gunfight, people. Uh, any of the spikes in this level are instant death. You do not want to touch them. As you might guess. I'm sure that tip was very helpful. Okay. Keep moving on. Come on. Keep going. Thank you. And onward. Excellent. Uh, the jumping attack with Zero is a little bit stronger because it deals a little few more hits than his regular combo. Like, in uh, it's a higher DPS. So, um, if you just jump in the air then attack, it's a little bit better. Uh, okay, here we go with a sub-boss. This is the uh, Spiked Turtle bla uh, Jet Turtle Tortoise Thingy Beetle. Actually, yeah, it's more of a beetle because the wings it looks like wings. Anyways, we're going to use our new weapon here. Because it's actually really good against uh, enemies like this, because it does a lot of constant damage. So just like this, as you can see, it just launches out a straight shot, and look at how much damage it's dealing. Uh, you want to make sure you just go from left to right or whatever, just make sure you deal as much damage as you can per hit, so you don't run out of platforms. It's fairly easy to do if you have the weapon with you. Okay, here comes the second staircase, so yeah, again, again disorienting, sorry. Uh, anyways, this area is a pretty easy to go through, just jump slash your way through. Uh, don't have to worry about enemies, because you got a pretty good constant amount of power and shots, so... Uh, that little thing behind you is going to be kind of annoying, though. Keep going, just keep going, just rush, I don't care about the damage now. Okay, so the heart tank up there, we cannot get until we defeat Split Mushroom itself, so we're going to have to come back right after we beat him. Uh, so let's just keep going. Uh, rising in this elevator, if we get crushed between uh, uh, the floor and something hard, I th like the spike plants, you'll be instantly killed. So you kind of want to avoid them. It's kind of a bad thing if you die, especially in a game where you have a limited number of lives. Although you have an unlimited amount of continues. Oh crap. Go away. Uh, stick over here. It's just easier because uh, the, if there, there's a guy up there that shoots. And sometimes he shoots when you're going up. And if you stand on the right, it'll defend yourself a little bit better. For some reason he didn't shoot that time. Oh, why didn't it dash? It didn't dash. Uh, let's kill both of you. And we'll keep moving. Okay, here we go. The boss door. So, uh, the, uh, Raijin Gekki, I think, the, uh, Lightning Stab, the Lightning Stab is, uh, the weapon you want to use against him. Uh, it's a little tricky to use against him, unfortunately, since you have to be on the ground to use it. This guy likes to hang out in the walls. You made it this far! I'm impressed! You interested in a real challenge? Who's your commanding officer? Never mind that! It's time to fight! A violent mushroom. Okay, so this thing will uh, launch out a whole bunch of little light balls called uh, soul bodies. And eventually he'll drop down himself. You need to hit him as he's falling down. So just partway through the attack, you just want to wipe out some of them. And then 
as he's coming down, you just want to hit him. If you don't attack twice, the uh, orb, the uh, rainbow dudes will actually start attacking you. Oh crap, I attacked too early. Crap, crap! They'll start, they'll start jumping around and attacking you. If he does this, he'll split into two and you need to hit him. Unfortunately, due to the emulation on this uh, particular game, it's kind of annoying to actually... There, okay, it's that one. Got him! Okay, yeah. I cannot tell which one is which. <laughs> Thankfully, I hit the right one. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Got them both. Good. Okay, three hits and they'll go back to normal. And he'll go back to his strategy. Okay. Just need to take out a couple. He drops about... He's the eighth one to drop. So he drops seven of the light things and then he drops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or maybe he is the seventh. Or maybe I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he's the seventh one to drop. Okay. Never mind then. I miscounted. So one, two, three, attack. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. Counting. Math. It's helping. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is, okay, we got this now. We got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one more. Sh oh, let's just kill him. <laughs> one more. Just slash. Dead. Split mushroom has just been split. Now we should split. See ya. Goodbye, Biolab. Kuenbu is kick ass. With correct timing, higher and further jumps are possible while airborne. In other words, we are now able to double jump, and uh, timing doesn't really matter. You can just double jump whenever you're in the air. Uh, yeah, you're only able to jump once. You're basically able to jump when you are in the air. So if you fall off a cliff, you're still able to jump. Uh, but you cannot jump twice. You need one jump off the ground and then a jump in the air. Kuenzan may be activated while attacking in the air. There is no may about it. It will always activate. Unless you're doing a special move. I guess that is the may. I just contradicted myself. It is kick ass. That move will help you out in pretty much every boss fight, every level of this game. I highly recommend you get that attack. It will help you out through it will help you throughout the rest of this game. Okay, so um unfortunately. Right now, we do not actually have a weapon that is good against any of these bosses. We actually have to go and kill something to get it. And I actually recommend you go after Megma Dragoon, because his weapon is actually good against two of the bosses. And it's actually quite helpful in many situations and levels. So uh, we're actually going to go after him. Oh wait, no, first, uh, we'll go after him after we get the uh, heart tank in uh, the Split Mushrooms level, the bio lab. So we're going to have to uh, quickly just blast our way through the parts in here. So now we are able to jumble jump in the air, and when we're in the air, we're able to do a kick-ass spin in the air, and which will also uh, not only act as a sort of a defensive shield from behind us, but it also has a really wide range in attack, and it is just kick-ass. Just kick ass. Like, seriously, it adds so much maneuverability to zero, and so much attack possibilities. It is very, very, very helpful. Algies! Okay, let's go. Come on. Algies! There, see? Look at this. It's already helping. Woo! I just double jumped for the sake of double jumping there. Hell yes! So much easier. I have missed this in Sp Web Spiders level. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, come on. Please work with me here. Okay, die you. Head on up. And up. Screw waiting. <laughs> okay, keep going. Oh yeah, so much easier to play like this. <laughs> Instantly moving around better. Okay, the stupid uh, jet beetle thing. Spiked beetle. 
Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yoink. Die to a lot of damage. I took like two fifths of its health there. Die to a lot more damage. Oh, I got an extra hit in there. <laughs> okay, come on. And deads. So deads. Keep going. Let's do this. Come on. Okay, we're almost there. Just gotta get through the stairwell and we'll be over there soon. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, this area will actually be a lot easier with this. Ah, uh, as I get hit. Uh, as you can see, we can actually destroy the uh, shots those things were firing at us. Uh, just a couple of quick jumps like so, and... Oh, jeez, we got hit. No! Excellent. See, so much easier with the uh, Kuenzan. Okay, just let this thing drop. Jump across once to get them to fire, and then double jump your way up to victory! And that recovers the heart tank in the bio lab. And that's our first heart tank of the game. For those of you who don't know, the heart tank increases the maximum health of the characters. There are eight of them in total, one in each level. Uh, the eight original Maverick levels. Or the, uh... Repliforce levels in this case. Anyways, we're going after a Megma Dragoon in the volcano now. It actually said the irregular hunters there, instead of Maverick hunters. I think I think Irregular Hunter is the direct translation for Maverick, the, instead of Maverick, like from the Japanese. I think Irregular is the direct translation of the Japanese word they use for Maverick. Uh, anyways, uh, Magma Dragoon's level is full of these uh, rock things that just go flying and try to kill you. You want to try and take your time going through here and uh, take it slow and uh, just do your best to dodge everything that's here. Uh, you want to avoid the uh, as much of the fire and damage as you could possibly take. Uh, like right there, just take your time. Just don't rush over things. Don't need unnecessary damage. With all these pits in here, oh jeez, all these rocks and such, it's very easy to get hit into a pit or something like that. So uh, you just want to make sure you're taking your time. And uh, I took my time there, and I shouldn't have. Crap, I've lost ground. No! Okay, taking my time now, I guess. There we go. Excellent. We have reached the top. Come on. There we go. I love the music in this game. And I love this part. I don't know why. This platforming part is just awesome. I love it. Uh, if two rocks hit a platform, it will blow up. I think that platform there is pretty much the only one that can blow up. I'm not 100% sure, though. Uh, anyways, uh, the helm, the heart of tank. Hard tank in this level is right up here. Just Quenbu your way up, and there you go. Yeah, no, you don't, right armor. You're not hurting me. Oh crap, rocks! Rocks might hurt. Rocks will hurt. Ah oh, crap! The missile, fourth missile. It has three cannons, but it fires four missiles. What is this? Okay. Uh, ooh, right armor. Uh, try to keep this right armor in as pristine condition as you can. Avoid ev as much damage as you can. You will thank yourself later. Uh, when you're attacking with the ride armor, attack while you're descending in the air. You will one-shot ri uh, other ride armors like so. It, it's just a lot more powerful to do so. Uh, you want to keep this ride armor in as pristine condition as possible because Mega Dragoon is probably the second hardest boss in this entire game when you're playing a zero. And uh, as and uh, if you take the ride armor up to this point, you can actually take it into the boss fight. Zero, it's really you. Why did you betray us? Answer me, Dragoon! I have no answer for you, my friend. Dragoon! But yeah, Dragoon is probably the uh, second hardest boss in this game, second to the o o second only to the very last boss of the game. And uh, I even have trouble with this guy when I have all my upgrades, all my techniques in the very last stages of the game. And, uh, yeah, you just want to avoid as much damage as you can and make ample use of the, uh, Orion armor as much as you can. If you actually are able to 
practice and avoid a lot of the shots like I am actually. I'm actually avoiding quite a few of the shots even though my machine's about to blow up, but it doesn't matter. Thankfully I wasn't in the lava. That would have been an interesting situation. What would have happened if the thing blew up and I fell into the lava? I think I, I think it's instant death, isn't it? Maybe? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I wanted to defeat you. Then he appeared. He who? He told me he'd give me power. Only if I worked for Repla Force. What? I couldn't refuse the offer. Sorry, Zero. Dragoon! You were cool! No! Ryu Engine! Uh, up and the special move button on the ground, a powerful attack that burns enemies with flames. Some objects may be burned with this technique. Hint, we're going back to Web Spiders level to get another upgrade. The hard tank. Uh, the, yeah, the Ryu Engine is a fiery uppercut with a sword. Fire sword uppercut. It is pretty kick-ass. Anyways, as I just said, we're going to go back to Web Spiders level to get the heart tank in there. Ready. Rainbow! So yeah, if we push up and the special move button, triangle, we can do the uh, cool little uppercut move. It's kind of fun. It's actually very useful in many situations, and I will show some of those situations here coming up. Oh, this is going to be so much faster going through this level. <laughs> Woo! Oh, damn it. I didn't time it right there. I was too busy spamming it. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, for those of you who may be wondering, when they come... No, there is nothing in the uh, hole where the uh, where the uh, armor upgrade, the leg armor upgrade for X was. There is absolutely, it's just an empty cave in there. There is nothing. <gasps> I got by without taking damage. It's a first. I've never done that before. I'm proud of this moment, and it's on video. Now watch me screw up and just ruin the moment. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. And there we go. Keep going. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Come on. If I'm attacking from above, the thing that's protecting his front won't protect his head. There we go. Jungle Area 2. We are actually in a jungle. Oh, geez, spiders. Or snakes. On a ground. Not on a plane. Unless you consider this a plane, but it isn't because it's a jungle. Uh, there are spiders up there. Snakes up there. Which I just blew up with the fire. You'd think you'd be able to br like burn off that brush or whatever. Yoink. Oh, snap. Uh, anyways, the Ryu engine it makes these things very easy to kill. <laughs> Bees! 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 <laughs> oh, I love doing that. Okay, come on. Oh, just no, 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 no! I jumped into that. I always do that. I don't know why. Why do I jump into things? Why do I jump into things that will kill me? Uh, anyways, these stumps here are able to be burned by fire. Uh, they just provide a quick little shortcut, which will avoid some damage, like the snakes up there. Uh. I keep going here and uh, quickly destroy you so I can get down easily without taking damage and burn that one. And uh, we get access to uh, damage and our heart tank. And that is it, so we can leave this level. We got the heart tank. Saving, 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 saving. We got all the heart tanks so far. Sweet. Okay, so uh, now we get some discrepancies in what we can do. We can, uh, the uh, Ryu Engine is uh, effective against two different bosses. It's effective against the Frost Walrus at Snowbase, and it's also effective against Cyber Peacock. And uh, at this point in the game, I'm going to go after Cyber Peacock because there is an energy tank in this level, and I want it. So let's go. He wants to destroy the network. He wants to destroy the internet. We must destroy him. 
Anyways, this level is a series of races. Basically, what you want to do is you want to rush through this place as fast as possible. It, depending on how fast you move throw, uh, through it, uh, depends on what you get. Basically, if you, want, uh, you just need to reach these points before that hurry up that you saw at the bottom there disappears. Uh, thankfully, the Q ends on makes this area a lot easier because it can destroy those little yellow orbs. Uh, in this first one, the prize is an extra life. Uh, yeah, the Q ends on is able to destroy those orbs, which makes things a lot easier. Uh, anyways, race two here. Okay, let's go through. Let's go up here, down here, up here, we'll go over here, destroy you. Go up here, and we're through! Oh, flawless. I failed to do that path as X, but I nailed it here. Okay, the th oh yeah, second one is a heart tank. Uh, and through here, we'll get the third and the hardest of the races. Let's see how well I can do this one. Okay, yoink. Dash under you, dash under you, da dash into you, dash jump into you. I'm getting all fancy now. Destroy you. I didn't need to destroy the one on the left, but I did anyway. Oh, crap. Go under. There we go. Excellent. If you wall jump up there, it's a little bit faster than just climbing the ladder. I kicked ass in all three of those races. <laughs> oh, God. So much easier to do those with zero. Anyways, energy tank. It will store health for you, and uh, if, you want, uh, if you are at full health and you pick up a health capsule, it will go into it. And, uh, yeah, you can use that energy tank elsewhere and... Uh, Recharge your health. It is very helpful against bosses that you may be having trouble on. Uh, here we go into the gravity uh, ball puzzle of the level. Oh, jeez. Go away! Thank you. Oh, health. Oh, crap! Yeah, those balls roll. You need to avoid them. Ooh, snagged it. Okay, let's keep going. Bam! Oh. Okay, well, let's keep going. Excellent! No need to worry about changing gravity if we don't need to! I need to make sure it goes over the corner and goes far enough ahead so it'll actually drop through there. Uh, and there we go! Easy peasy! And we are at the boss door! So prepare to do a lot of Shoryuken-esque uppercut slashes. <clears throat> I'm impressed you went it this far, but you can't beat me. Get ready! The boss conversations are so much more pathetic. Anyways, just want to take a little walk, turn around, and uppercut him. Take a little walk, turn around, uppercut him. Take a little walk, turn around, oh, and just uppercut him. Take a little walk, turn around, uppercut. Take a little walk, turn around, uppercut. Take a little walk, uppercut. Take a little walk, uppercut him. Take a little walk. Uppercut him. Take a little walk. Oh, crap. No, you don't. Take a little walk. Uppercut. Take a little walk. Uppercut. Take a little walk. Oh, no, you don't. Die. And he takes a funny pose. And he explodes. And we win. Yay. I'm going to just call it the Giga Attack because it's used with by the using pushing the Giga Attack button, which by default is the R2 button on the PlayStation controllers. Uh, so if you use it when you're standing on the ground, the ultimate special attack that channels all stored energy into one blast. Uh, basically, this will create a huge uh, burst of energy pellets that will just go in all directions. It's the only long-range projectile attack Zero has. But it also consumes energy, so um, the, now we have to worry about energy sources. We only get four, yeah, I think it's only four attacks with it uh, before we can, but it's the only, but we can recharge it with the energy pickups and the weapon tank when we eventually get it. Anyways, after we beat four of the Mavericks, we get a little bit of storyline here. I've gotten a message from the Repliforce. Zero, I'll be at the Memorial Hall. Be there. Don't go, Zero, don't fight him. This is a matter of personal pride now. 
Therefore, there's no avoiding this. I must go. Colonel! What? I'm disappointed in you, Colonel. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? It's not too late. Stop the coop now. Never. If that's your decision, prepare yourself! Stop! Please! Brother, please! Don't you remember? Zero saved my life! Oh. Very well, then. I'll spare your life for now. But next time, there'll be no mercy. Brother, if you do, I'm afraid that one of you may end up. Someone must stop Repliforce. Zero! End of the middle mission. <laughs> oh, it's just a video. Don't have to do anything in this point. Unlike the X playthrough where you actually act, you actually have to fight Colonel. Yeah, you don't have to fight him. It's actually storyline. Okay, moving on to the second half of the uh, four initial four. So again, we still have uh, two things we can go to. We can go to Storm Owl now because the the uh, Raikoho or whatever it is, the uh, Giga attack, is the weapon that's used against him. Or we can go to Frost Walrus and go take him out with a Ryu Enzon. Um, either option is valid. Um, in, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go to Storm Owl, because his weapon is actually kind of defensive, and will help out later on, in my opinion. So let's go for it. Why is he stake taking a space fortress to conquer the air? It's a space fortress. It's meant to conquer space. There's no air in space. He's very out of his element. Well, that's a bad move, Sean. Bad move to kill that thing when you're standing on it. Ooh, here we go with the uh, eagle armor. Eagle ride armor. Uh, basically, if you charge this thing up, it'll launch three homing shots. You are able to fly around and hover. Yoink. Yes. I love this armor. You can hover pretty pretty much infinite amount of time. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's actually, yeah, I should. There's a health pellet up here. I want to go grab for the uh, health tank. Uh, is that guy back? Ooh, he's not. Excellent. I was worried he might respawn. Uh, anyways, oh here, uh, rush through here. Uh, why am I able to move when charging? I'm not supposed to be able to do that. If you rush through there, you can get the uh... oh, duked him. Ah, oh, damn, didn't do come that time. Uh, yeah, that was a hard tank up there. You needed to rush through it before those platforms got destroyed by the big, huge laser. Or else you wouldn't be able to get it. So, yeah, that's basically what I had to do there. Going through, bam. Going through, bam. Oh, if you get hit, you go lower in uh, altitude, though. Kind of sucks, but... Oh crap, I'm about to blow up. No! My armor is about to blow up! Told you. Okay, let's keep going here. Oh well. We don't need our stinking armor. We got the QN Boo and Q. That's on! Oh jeez! Where's my armor? I want my eagle armor back! Let's keep going. Let's rush through. Oh jeez, no. Just go away. Thank you. And teleport. Ready! Okay, here we go. Second part. Uh, now we're going inside my ship? Yeah. Okay. Right here. Let's destroy both of them. These things fire lasers. Destroy them before they can, or you will be in pain. Oh, just... No, you don't. Okay, uh, just time this right. Bingo. Like that. Ooh, I even got the health pellet. Nice. Double jump our way up here. Don't need to worry about what's up there. That's excess weapon upgrade. We do not need it. 
Anyways, here you want to use your Kuenbu and Kuanzan just to destroy them. The eye will open up whenever the lasers are firing. Um, even if the uh, it's time so that even if the lasers are both destroyed, it will still fire. So I'll just destroy both the lasers and keep firing. This battle is actually really easy to do as zero. Easier than X's battle, in my opinion. That's one thing that's really unique about this game. A lot of the things that are easy to do as uh, X can be very difficult as Zero, and vice versa. Some of the things that are really hard to do as X are really easy to do with Zero, so... Some things are just easier with others. Uh, anyways, this is the boss door. Uh, I won't show it now because we only get four shots with it, and um, if you're not careful, uh, you will waste them. Uh, but uh, the Raikoho is... Uh, Raik uh, I call it the right Koho, right Koha, because it's, it, it's a later weapon that's used in a similar fashion, but... Uh, yeah, you need to be careful in how you use this, because squa don't squander this weapon. Why did you judge us as mavericks? Wait, stop the coup! No, we're justified in doing this. Okay, so the, uh, the weapon here attacks in multiple... Uh, in multiple directions, but you want to make sure you get him with more than one of the orbs. If you get him with more than one of the orbs, it will do more damage. And, uh, yeah. Like that, you just want to make sure you hit it. Oh, that crap, that wasn't good. He should be half dead now, and he's, like, barely anywhere. I should be attacking him as he's dive bombing me. Ow, jeez! No, 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 crap. Stupid bird. Stupid Igton wannabe. Oh, crap. No, he put up a shield. No, you don't do that. Oh, jeez! I gotta get some good hits on him there. Goodbye! There we go, that was a good hit. Oh, I got two shots left, okay. Oh, no, wait, yeah, yeah, that's two shots. No, you don't! Ow, ow, ow. Burns, burns. Just die, thank you. So I kind of lied when I said it wasn't really a, it was like a, not, it was kind of a defensive. It is a defensive move. In has Z Saber, you can cut enemy energy shots with your beam, with your saber. So uh, any shot, any projectiles that we weren't able to destroy before, we're now able to destroy. It is a very helpful uh, thing, because we can, uh, like little projectiles enemies fire, we can actually stop them from hitting us. And combined with the Kuenzon, it pretty much makes us like invulnerable while we're using the Kuenzon, so kind of kick ass. Anyways, we are going to go after Frost Walrus now. I kind of laugh how he, uh, he was covering up snow base, the base word there. Anyways, if you'll notice in the background, if you have watched uh, or played Mega Man X3 or watched my Let's Play of it, Blizzard Buffalo is in the background right there. That's kind of a neat little throwback. Oh, jeez. No, you don't. Uh, this place is covered with ice and snow. You just need to be careful because you're going to slide around everywhere. No, you don't. Go away. Fiery upper uppercut of doom. Uh, right here, if you uppercut, you will break the roof and uh, you will uh, get a heart tank. A heart tank was up there. You need the uh, Ryu engine to get it. Fire must burn that ice block. Oh, no, 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 go back up here. And go just up here. There we go. A little bit of a shortcut. Oh, that was perfect timing. Okay, let's kill the snowman. And then keep going. Uh, dodge the instant death spikes of doom. Uh, this level has a unique item called an extra tank. Uh, the extra tank will uh, give us extra lives uh, when we die due to a game over or when we restart the game. So if we pick this up, instead of having three lives at the start of the game, we'll actually have start off with five lives. So just Q and boo your way up there, and you are good. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, snap. Pwned him good. There we go. Keep going. Oh, jeez. Snowman hurt me. Snowman hurt me. Ah. Uh, if these ice blocks here smash you into a roof, it will be instant death. So, uh, take your time here. Wait for your good opportunity to drop properly. There we go. 
Also, you do not want to drop too, too quickly because there's a bottomless pit at the bottom of this. Uh, oh, Jesus. There we go. Anyways, we are at the mid-boss door. And uh, if you'll notice, Chill Penguin is actually frozen in the ice. That's Mega Man X1. Go watch my Meg. Let's play Mega Man X1. It's similarly as long. Actually, not as long as this as the uh, this uh, this video will be. But I uh, just can break those. Uppercut it. It's actually really easy to kill this thing, but you'll undoubtedly take a little bit of damage as you're doing it. Oh crap! Oh crap! No, no, you jerk! Go away! Oh, kill him, kill him, kill him! Thank you. Oh, man, I took a lot of damage. Thank God your health regens and you go into a second part. Ready. Magically full health. Yay. Okay, well, let's stick to the high paths here. Um, you want to because there's a weapon tank. The weapon tank is in this level. And, uh... Yeah, the weapon tank is uh, on, sort of on a higher path here. So just stick to the high ground. Burn! Electricity. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, the saber's now purple due to uh, Storm Owl's uh, defensive technique. I'm not sure if it actually makes the saber more powerful overall. I don't think it does. I think it's just the defensive ability. I don't think it actually makes it physically stronger. Oh man. Epic dodge is there for me. Burn all them. Make you disappear. Burn. Burn. I hurt myself with the fiery bomb thing. That was the weapon tank. It was an ice block right above here, right up there. Uh, just keep moving. Health! Uh, coming up here, there'll be an enemy. It's sort of a swan thing there. If you let it go, it will freeze the entire area. It will freeze every enemy so that if you touch the enemy, it will explode in a similar fashion to the Giga attack. Um, with little ice crystals and you'll be damaged. And it will also freeze every platform in here. So, uh... <laughs> you'll start slipping and sliding around. It just gets really annoying to walk around. Um, so yeah, just destroy them before it actually happens. It takes a little bit to charge up, so... Go away. Thank you. No, you don't. Okay, keep going. Oh, jeez. No, you don't. Go away. Okay, jump over here, and bam. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Thank you. Okay, cool. That was close. Okay, go. Okay, you just went away on his own. That's fine. Just go away. Yes, thanks. Thanks. Anyways, boss battle. Doing a little strut. Doing a little flex. And a little burp. What's that blonde kid up to? I don't have time for you, Junior. Hey, shut up and fight already! Oh, that does it. You're going down! No, I think I'll go up! <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, jump over. Uppercut you. This guy is actually really easy. You may take a little bit of damage from getting in too close, but he is very easy to battle here. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap! Go away. Okay, and uppercut again. There we go. Okay, we took a lot of damage, but we killed him faster than he killed us. So, that's the point of boss battles right now. You won. Your Retsuzan. Your Retsuzan is the Ice Saber. Down while jumping in the air, and your special move button will do a dive attack, effective against surface enemies. It will basically turn your I your sword into a giant ice spear, and it will uh, jab it down into the ground. Sort of the uh, polar opposite of the uh, Ryu Enzon. Uh, not, no, not the Ryu Enzon. Ryu Engine? Ryu Engine, that's it. Uh, okay. Anyways, uh, strangely enough, the ice weapon here is actually effective against the water guy, so we're going to go and ride the uh, land chaser. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting.
love the music. Anyways, this level you just want to stick to about here and constantly fire. Uh, you will avoid a lot of the enemy fire, you will avoid a lot of the things because they'll jump over you. Just constantly fire. Every so often you will want to uh, jump and just do a quick dash and you will... Uh, oh jeez. Ah, I should have dashed there, but whatever. Uh, right here you do not want to jump at the third pit. That was the second pit we just jumped over. Right here you do not want to jump. Grab the heart tank and we should have jumped and I hit the button a little too late. Oh well. We got the heart tank, that's the main part. Uh, there's a lot of instant death in this game. It's probably what, it's one of the things that makes this game so difficult at times. But, uh, yeah, as long as we got the, uh, heart tank there, I was happy. Although it's actually kind of easy to get the heart tank and I might actually go for it again just to prove that you can get out of that. Okay. There we go. Do -do 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 Jump. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, 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 jeez. I jumped early. Uh, okay, stick to the ground here. Jump over this. And jump over here. Jump early and dash. So you land early, so you got more time to jump up there. And you are jumping there, and you are free. There we go. Okay, part two. There is an energy tank in this area. It'll be part way through. I recommend you actually listen to the music as to where I am jumping and whatnot. The music is a very good key in this level because um, you can use it quite well to your advantage. Uh, the songs in this level are actually pretty much timed out so that you are done the each part just as the song is ending before it repeats and whatnot. So it's kind of cool. Uh, let's keep going here. Oh yeah, that's Jet Stingray attacking us, by the way. He's kind of annoying, dropping his little manta rays on us. Okay, here we go. It's going up here. Uh, jump here and stay kind of low. There we go. Got it. And jump. Yeah! First try. And we get a full health upgrade. And now we can go into the boss fight full health. Arg, he's still after me. Enough already, we settle this now. Okay. Oh crap, no, 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 don't don't start this. Oh crap. God damn it. Die, thank you, okay. If you attack him once, he will go diving up on the side. Just go up and then just sort of uppercut him uh, from up here. Um, just stick close to the wall, continue hogging it, and uh, just uh, downward special move him whenever he shows up below you. Just like that. Just repeat like this. It'll be perfectly fine. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Okay, here we go. A little bit cheap. A little bit awesome. It kicks ass. Yes. I'm camping. This is the equivalent of camping in this game. It's a legitimate strategy, people. Okay, come on. Thank you. Oh, this battle is so much easier to do. Like this. Oh, God. This is such a simple fight. Okay, there we go. Dash button while jumping may be executed in the air. We just got the air dash! And now I think we got pretty much, except for the last heart tank, we got pretty much all the useful things in this game, to be honest. The last technique is kind of useless. The one boss it's good against is Web Spider, and considering it's a ground-based technique that can only be used on the ground, and it hits only on the ground, and Web Spider's always in the air, it is useless. <laughs> oh god, military train. Ready. 
Alrighty, we are on board of a train, and we are just going to go through it. Um, the new attack we just got, uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, the air dash. Meow. Make some ample use of it, although, uh, it'll be a little bit faster if we do the ground dash. Oh, go away. No big laser. No pew pew pew. Or no pew. Uh, partway through these levels, these guys will come up, it'll blow up, and, uh, you'll have to jump across. It just slows down the game. It's kind of lame. It's not really a big of a challenge, especially when we have the, not only the air dash, not only the double jump, but a regular dash jump. Works fine. They get a little bit bigger in the gaps, but come on, just if you're good with a, yeah, with a general dash jump, you're going to be perfectly fine. Okay. Oh, no, 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 pew, pew, pew. No, pew, pew, pew. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Make you disappear. You disappear. And these boxes disappear. Oh, jeez. Go away. Laser. That's not cool. There we go. Actually, lasers are cool. Lasers are awesome. And a lot of another one. Okay. Leave me alone. Oh, boss fight. Mini boss. Okay, so this guy's pretty easy. Just go up to it and... Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, that was bad. That was close. As soon as you're here, you're pretty much fine. Just constantly attack. Eventually, the bottom ones will blow up and you'll be perfectly fine. Yes, yes. There we go. And magically, we're aboard another train. Magically with full health. Okay. Go and destroy some boxes. The heart tank in this level is pretty much you have to get it. Actually, I want to try something. I never. I want to try something later on. Uh, there's a two paths to get. I'm wondering if you actually have to do something to actually get it or not. Uh, go away! Go uh, attack the wrong way. Get. Stop being annoying. Die. Don't oh, just calm down, man. Oh, just... Okay, come on. Oh, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Come on, bring it. Oh, what was that? Oh, no, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, that, that's too bad. Oh, sorry. So sorry. Okay, let's keep going here. Uh, you can destroy any of these carts like this. No, that wasn't the cart I was thinking of. No, it wasn't. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Uh, the heart tank is in one of these. Is uh, on one of these trains. I'm wondering. Okay, yeah, it's just sitting up there. Yeah, you just have to go and get it. I thought it might be inside one of these cards and needed the right armor to destroy it, but it wasn't even that tricky. It's just sitting on top in the middle of the path. That's just lame. They could have, like, hit it in a box somewhere, like one of the blue boxes or something. No, they just had to leave it sitting out there in the open. They just they didn't want to make it any challenge at all. Extra... I can pick up the extra life? What? I couldn't pick up the extra life? Okay, then. Odd. Well, thankfully the thing died there, because we were at the end of the little area we can use it in. Uh, okay. Oh no, they're after us! We must make our escape! No! Oh, they stopped. Good. They can't. They apparently can't jump over these gaps. How did they get here in the first place if they're not able to jump over these gaps? Oh, full health. Something tells me we're at the boss. After a single dude and a laser! Laser, go away! Sit down here and destroy. And oh, jeez, no, no, you don't. Go away. No, you don't. Keeping full health for the boss. This is another boss that doesn't actually have a suit, uh, weapon associated to it. Although the uh, lightning jab is actually quite effective against it. Uh, you dare attack my units? I'm going to enjoy fighting you. So yeah, there's no specific weapon that's actually really associated with like kicking its ass. Like uh, it doesn't, nothing stops its attack. Nothing can be tricked out with his AI in attacking it. But uh, the uh, lightning jab does a lot of damage to him. So, and uh, thankfully, Storm Owl's weapon actually uh, the upgrade actually allows you to destroy those uh, the uh, split uh, the, those shockwave things. So uh, make ample use of that. You can actually destroy them if you're at a far enough away distance with this attack. Uh, I can just like those things, yeah, you can destroy them with the uh, jab here, if you uh, swing it right. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, he'll do two of those. Always two of those. He roars a lot. Oh, jeez. No, bad. It takes a while to charge this. Oh, you got to be kidding me. So close. I got denied. I could have been a contender. All it takes is one bad move. It's a lot harder to fight bosses as zero, to be honest. Especially when there's no weakness. Actually have to fight and actually have to try. Yeah, just keep doing that, please. Just keep roaring. Yes, keep doing it. Yes, you. I love you for doing that. Okay. Yes, see? There you go. I destroyed it. Destroyed it again. Oh, yes, just keep roaring. Keep roaring. Keep roaring. Keep on roaring. He's gonna do something now. Oh, no. He's gonna keep roaring. Okay, why couldn't you do this in the first try? It's like... He... Uh, he... Uh... But... Uh... Did he... Did he want me to kill him? Oh, my God. Shibuga. This is the uh, this is kind of a useless move. If you uh, use the special button while dashing, you can execute a powerful dash blade attack. Approach your enemy with Shipuga and perform a combo. Basically, you can add another combo uh, attack to your combo. But the Kuenbu and Kuanzan are quite are just more better in my opinion for dealing damage. Anyways, that is the completion of 100% of the items in this game. All we had to do was collect the tanks and the heart tanks. So, I guess the tanks. Yeah. Repla Force is at the Space Harbor. I have to go. No! Please wait, Zero! I don't want to see you two fight! Someone has to stop your brother. I'm leaving. Dun dun dun! Anyway, since we already have the 100% Spaceport, here we come! Alrighty, now that we have everything we need to do to kill everything... Uh... Oh, just... Go away. Go away. Low. Go away again. Oh, snap. Okay, let's get going. Goodbye. Oh, I love this move. Oh, oh did we get our... got on our back already? Oh, no, you don't. Go away. Thank you. Uh, bam. There we go. And, uh... Okay, there we go. Cool. Oh, pwned. Go away. Disappear. Vow. Vanish. Oh, no. Go away. There we go. Bam. Go up here. Go up here. That other one disappeared magically. I don't know how. Boss fight. Hi, Colonel! I don't want to fight. Step back. I'm sorry, I can't let you through. Iris will be sad if she, lose, if, if she loses you. Don't be so presumptuous, Zero. Save it until after you've defeated me. Show me what you've got. Okay, so this guy, he's got a couple of unique moves, like that the three-hit combo. And uh, he'll disappear and reappear and it'll slash you. Uh, those attacks are pretty fast. You can jump over them. Whenever he disappears, he does a slash. Uh, he, uh, or he'll go into the middle like that and use a lightning. Uh, all you have to do is just jump, sort of time it so you're just bouncing off the wall slightly enough, uh, so that you can just jump between two of them when they appear. Uh, the trick here is you just want to hang on to the wall, uh, use the QN Zon and QN Boo, uh, or the QN Zon, I guess. It's not just the QN, it's the QN Boo is the double jump, the QN Zon's the attack. Just use a, just drop on him whenever he slashes. It's actually pretty easy to kill this guy, to be honest. Oh jeez, come on. Okay, we're gonna do that. He's got one other attack he starts using uh, halfway through the battle, but... Oh jeez, I didn't drop down soon enough. Oh, lightning! Okay, so yeah, you just want to jump off slightly and just sort of aim for the first one. It's just, it's the easiest way to defend against it. 
Uh, but yeah, if you just hang on the walls, you're pretty much well, pretty well defended here. Uh, okay, come on. Excellent. Goodbye. Oh, lightning. Okay, couple quick attacks. And yo, oh, jeez, that was close. Oh, jeez. Quick attack so it makes him block. He has a blocking move, but it's designed to be used against X, not zero, so. Uh, lightning. Owned. <laughs> yeah, so this fight takes a little bit to do, but it's actually pretty simple. Oh, jeez. Don't want to get too fancy. Just take your time. Ah, oh, jeez. I went fancy. I wasn't thinking, oh, here comes his other move. So it gets bigger as it goes closer to the wall, but if you stick high enough on the wall, you can dodge it, so. Oh, lightning. Just a quick attack. Ground crush. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's doing a lightning move again now. Yoink. Ground crunch? Ground crush? It's one of the two. Uh, he'll start doing two halfway through the battle. Uh, that's lightning. Oh, jeez. Yoink. Uh, when he's dashing around like that, he can't actually hurt you, so uh, feel free to attack him. Oh, lightning. Okay, and run to the middle and slash him. Three attack wave. Lightning. Dead. Impressive, Zero, but it's too late. What? Repla Force has left for his space. Even if I perish, Repla Force lives. Colonel, Zero, tell Iris that her brother died happily. Goodbye, Zero. Colonel! Dun dun dun. They've left for the outer space. Scramble all Maverick Hunters. Iris, where are you? Iris! She left with them? No. Maverick Hunters, scramble. I'm on my way. Don't do this to me, Iris. Final Weapon! The first of the four parts of the final stage. It's really two stages named Final Weapon, but it's basically four parts of the same stage, but you can it's two levels, basically. Anyways, Final Weapon. The second to last... The, okay, the first part of the last four parts. There we go. Ah, jeez. Um, well, let's just do this. Let's do that. Uh, we'll wait for the lasers to go by. And... Goodbye, you. Oh, jeez. Ah. Okay, let's just do that again. Oh, no, you don't. Go away, lasers. There we go. Goodbye. Oh, crap, I shouldn't have done that. Missile hit me. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, come on. How'd that hurt me? Places, things? What? Okay, boss fights. For the first part. Uh-oh. Iris. So you fought with my brother. I'm sorry. Then it's over. Everything. Wait, Iris, listen to me. Goodbye, Zero. Iris! Forgive me, Zero! Okay, so this guy is kind of annoying. He will launch uh, little mines. He's actually... It's actually a pretty easy fight overall, to be honest. Uh, after you hit him seven times, the laser will appear. Or the crystal, sorry. Uh, you need to attack the crystal. The Ryu Enzon makes this pretty easy. You want to use the uh, QN boo to keep it back. And uh, okay, there we go. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm gonna use our energy tank here. I'm gonna use the mostly empty one we have. Uh, but yeah, you just want to use the QN, the, the QN boo and the Q, uh, the QN Zon, sorry, to push it back. And then, oh crap, close, to, close to me. Oh jeez. And then Ryu Enzon to push it back. Every time you hit the armor, those mines will show up, so 
just going to keep going like this, sort of combo it, just attacking as you're going down. Uh, oh man, snuck past there, that was perfect. Okay, there we go. It's a pretty easy boss fight overall. Iris, there's no world just for Reploid. It's only a fantasy. Yes, I know, but I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only Reploids exist with you. Iris! Oh. Iris! 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 No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on! What? What am I fighting for? So you're telling me her name is Iris? Okay, uh, that's good to know. Anyways, as cold-hearted as it is, we just move on. Oh, okay. Hide in this corner, hide in the corner, hide in the corner. Kill! Move! Excellent. Uh, so, uh, yeah, here we go. Moving on. Second part of Final Weapon Part 2. Okay, so here you can take one of two paths. You can take the top path here, but as zero, it's kind of hard to take this path because there's a lot of long-range weapon, uh, long-range attacks needing to be done. It's easier overall, in my opinion, but the bottom path is easier for zero, in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to take it instead. Um, I'll just go away. Go away. Thank you. Okay. Uh, right here, you want to wait for the four shots to go by, go up, and then just slash it. Uh, do not drop down here immediately. Instant death. <laughs> There's a pit. They're jerks like that. Uh, head up here. Health. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, okay. You gotta, you gotta armor now. Okay. Come on. Die. I shot you all. Die! Okay, hover across here, firing all along the way. Uh, you want to land on the first platform, destroy you, destroy you. Okay, so you want to jump high here. Uh, to hover, you need to push a uh, the X button again when you're in the air. Uh, so yeah, just do that, shoot it quite quickly, and we can jump out now. There we go. And uh, the top path just comes out there. So we just met up again. Anyways, now for an annoying fight. General, many people, many died because of you. Those lives are on your conscience. In independence always has a high price. What are what about Iris? Did you forget her? I have no regrets. Come on, Zero. It was our destiny to fight. Okay, so the general here, you have to attack him in the head. It's kind of annoying. Uh, best bet is to just wet, to attack him when he's low. So stick close so he actually drops down. Um, and just attack... Oh, crap, I missed. Uh, if you stick close like this and go underneath him, he'll do that move. Which gives you a chance if you're actually close enough to a wall. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, if he does this, he's gonna go like this. Um, you will take, you may take a lot of damage doing this, but you can. Uh, if you're having trouble with the boss, like doing this, you can leave it out and just elongate them the boss battle. I'm gonna try doing it anyway. Oh jeez. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Don't do that move against. There we go. Okay, this one will be good. One. There. Oh, oh damn it! He hit Rose too quickly. Okay, here we go. Oh, jeez, man, I'm dying here. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm doing this again. I do not want to use another energy tank. 
I might have to. Crap, I hate fighting this guy. He's just so annoying. Ah, oh, it's one of those fights that's more annoying to play as Zero. Uh, maybe will this work? Nope. Have to hit him, and it's difficult to hit him like that. Let's just use that up again. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and fill my energy tank before heading to the last stage, I think. Or waste a couple of continues or something to farm out the uh, energy pellets that are at the start. What? What? Okay, if I need to, I'm just going to use an energy tank on this guy, so... I'm going to just recharge my health to full if I need to. I don't care. I can farm energy pellets in the start of the next level, so... Just go instant kill myself after. <laughs> Show me your true power. Okay, stick close to him. Okay, he's dropping. Good. Do that more often, please. Ample time for me to t kill you. Yes, good, 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 good. Oh, snap. Come on, keep doing it. Yes. Keep it up, man. General, you are an awesome man if you keep doing this attack. Yes, thank you. Oh, damn, it didn't keep anything left. Aw, oh, man, I was doing this stupid move. So apparently the uh, fire hurts you on the back of him, or maybe an invisible shot due to uh, lack of graphics damage me or something. Okay, you know what? I'm going to say screw it to the attacking him with his hands out like this. I take too much damage from it. Come on, don't do oh, Come on, stop doing that, you a-hole. Come on. It's good when he does this when you're playing his X, but it's zero, it's a pain in the ass. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on! Learn something new, General. Oh, wow, that, like, killed me entirely. This is, that isn't even doing anything. Okay, come on. Retract your hands. Thank you. Okay, now do something good. Stop! Oh, my God, you asshole! Oh my god, this is annoying. I'm standing underneath you. I'm standing underneath you. I'm standing underneath you. Oh jeez. Oh my god. You... Oh my god, I have to... Oh jeez. That was stupid. This is just... Oh. Okay, fine. You want me to attack you like this? There. Now, will you stop doing that move, please? Oh, crap. That's too far away. Okay, come on. Come on. Thank you. Good. Oh, no, crap. This is the other move now. Okay. Yeah, he fires the lightning thing with Jiggers. Okay, come on. He does it every time he drops now. Okay, yeah, he does. Oh, we can get a good attack in there. Okay. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Uh, this is annoying. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Oh, jeez! Uh, stop using... God! Uh. Oh, my God. I jumped right into that one. Come on, please stop doing that move. Oh my god, fine. This guy's just such an asshole. <laughs> Come on, why don't you, like, stop doing the move that m m creates a stalemate situation in our fight? Oh, jeez. Please stop doing it. Please, please, please. Oh my god, at least he's almost dead. Oh, jeez, wrong side. Oh. Just die! Thank you, a-hole. Battle's more annoying than difficult.
What is this? What happened? No, this weapon can't be working. General, what's wrong? Someone else is controlling it. Then Earth's in grave danger. It must be stopped. I'll handle this. Where's the weapon? He didn't tell us. Where's the weapon? Tell me. <laughs> Anyways, final weapon. Oh, apparently we're on the weapon. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to uh, hang around here and uh, do this for a while. Energy pellet. Energy pellet. Death. I'm going to do this over and over and over again until my health tanks are full. Sorry, my energy tanks are full, and considering that only filled up that much, it's going to take me a while, so I'm just going to cut it out. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Just a second. Alrighty. Coincidentally, it finished right at the end of a continue, so I just continued, and that's why I have all the health lives. Anyways, yes, we have uh, our full energy tanks now, and uh, we're just going to continue on. This is the uh, 8 Maverick stage boss... Uh, Eight Maverick rematches up ahead here. So, uh, right here, we got all these teleporters here leading us to each of the Mavericks. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to watch how much damage we take from some of these bosses. We're gonna get the toughest boss out of them way first, though. We're gonna go after Mega Dragoon in this one here. Okay, well, no you don't. Hadouken, Hadouken. Oh no you don't, come on, come on. Oh jeez. Okay, come on. Is he gonna do this? Oh. Just have to hang out above him. As fun and as awesome as this guy is, he's kind of annoying to fight a zero. Sort of have to hang out above him to not get hit by a shore. You can. Oh, jeez. Oh, perfect. Goodbye. Stabbed in the gut with a saber of lightning. Okay, now that that's out of the way, which one should we go fight next? Let's go fight Storm Owl. Uh, the layout in this room is the same layout as the original locations on the uh, grid of the the, like, the eight Mavericks. Like the top row of the Mavericks in the level select screen are these ones. Like these two are the top left ones. These ones are the top right ones, etc., etc., etc. So this will be Storm Owl here. Okay, oh, no you don't. Okay, let's get getting close. No you don't, come on, come on, come on, get down here, you little bird. Okay, come on. Oh, God damn it, get down here. Good, die. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Goodbye, okay, let's keep going, this is good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. No, you're not firing from down here because that's more annoying. Come on, there we go. Okay, I'm out. Oh jeez. Oh crap, 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 crap. Die! Come on. Oh crap, he's got a shield on. No, that is so cheap. Go away. Annoying. Okay, I think we need to fight an easy boss next. Oh, uh, which one would be an easy boss? Not Web Spider. Um, what is this one again? This is Cyber Peacock. He's an easy one. Fight an easy one so we can get some extra health for our tougher boss. I'm using strategy. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, do a little walk, turn around and fire, 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 do a little walk, oh, dash, fire, do a little walk, turn around and fire, 
Do a little walk. Turn around. Fire. Do a little walk. Turn around. Fire. Do a little walk. Turn around. Fire. Do 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 do. Oh, missed him. Oh, he's going fast now. The jerk. Go away. Go away. Yes, take your weird, weird pose. Like, like this is creepy. It's just freaky and creepy. You're freaky? <laughs> okay, now that we have more health, um, uh, we'll leave Web Spider. He's a medium difficulty boss. What's a tough one from the bottom row? Jet Stingray is easy. Split Mushroom is easy. Uh, Slash Beast. Oh, she's right away. Okay. Ah! Crap. Okay, right. Ah! Okay, he's being angry. I need to start attacking him when he roars. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Stop! Wow, I'm getting my ass kicked by the lion. Okay, come on. Keep doing it. Oh, jeez. Yes. Yeah. Oh, crap. Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. What does he do when he does that? He, like, parries you or something. Or maybe it's just defense against X. I don't know. Oh, yeah, pwned. Okay, let's go pick up our health. And let's go fight an easy boss again. Uh, let's go take on Split Mushroom. I'm here to skewer you and roast you over a fire. Okay, one, two, three, six, seven. Okay, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, they should have made this do more damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I really should have made this do more damage. Or maybe I can just attack him when he's like that. Okay. Three. There we go. There we go. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. We can just, uh, upgrade to the efficiency of the strategy. Perfect. Don't ask me why he sparkles. I don't know why. There we go. Good strategy coming out here. Oh, jeez. Nope, nope. Dash towards him. That wasn't good. That was an accident. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. And let's just kill him. There we go. Cool. Okay, need health. Grab health, and I think we should go fight Frost Walrus. He's a medium difficulty boss, but I tend to take a lot of damage when fighting him, because I'm rushing. Yeah. He's big, but he's big. So, I get tend to get a little too close with zero. Okay. Do a little strut. Do a little flex. And burp. Burn! Oh, come on, that wasn't close. That wasn't even close. That wasn't even remotely in range. There was a clear gap in the graphic. Go away. Oh, come on! This is just 
Lame. There we go. Really? He didn't even get to breathe? Ah. Oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go and get, uh, what's his name out of the way? Web Spider. So I just realized I haven't shown the weakness move against him. So if you're in the middle of a dash and you push the special move button, you'll do that weird little slashy thingy. Unfortunately, there's, like, no opportunity to use it in this. Like, I don't think... Yeah, you can't use it with an air dash. So you're much better using the... Uh, the... Uh, QN boo and the QN's on against him, so... If he gets low enough, you could probably try it, but it's just... Why? Okay. Oh, Hello. Okay, here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was almost a flawless victory. Almost a flawless. Pretty damn close. That was my best run against him with zero yet. I'm kicking ass now. Okay. And last one. Oh, Jet Stingray. This may not be a flawless run, but it'll be a pretty damn good one. Again, why am I standing in P? Okay, let's go like this. Okay. Okay, there we go. And... Oh, jeez. No, crap. Crap, crap. Ah, oh, I went too far away from the wall. Ah, oh, jeez. As long as you get into position, it's okay. Until you get into position, he's a pain in the ass. Oh, now he's going to be on the... Oh my god, I'm going to die. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, wow! So much for kicking ass. God damn you. Damn you, karma, or whatever the hell does that. Ah. Okay, come on. Just, just do whatever you're doing here. Come on. There! Okay, he's gonna do a dash move, I think. Yes, there we go. Okay, now I can climb the left side of the wall. Oh, jeez! Oh, now he's on the other side. Oh my god! You stupid a-hole! There! Okay. Now, don't stop being an a-hole. Wow! Sometimes the strategies are good, it's just getting him going is a pain in the ass. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Need to use it earlier so he doesn't dash to the other side by accident. Okay, there we go. There's no roof in this level this time, in the boss fight this time. There we go. Oh, I can't jump up that high. Dang. Oh, hi. I'm swimming. I'm swimming in pee. That's that's nice. Well, I took a lot more damage than I was hoping to. Oh boy. Okay, that's it for this part. Yeah. Next is the final boss. Yeah. Yeah. That's annoying. <laughs> Good work, Zero. Your Sigma? So it was you! <laughs> yes, simply brilliant. You even defeated Colonel and Iris. You made me do it! No, you wanted to destroy them. Allow me to remind you that I was once the leader of the Maverick Hunters. What's our current situation? Commander! Where's that red Maverick that wiped out Gamma's unit? In 
inside. He's inside that door. You may leave now. I'll take care of this personally. By yourself, Commander? I don't want any more of my people being sacrificed. Look, it's Commander Sigma! Incredible. Now I'm certain there's no one who's a match for the Commander. What? Take that red maverick to the repair center and, and call Dr. Kane. I wish to have that maverick studied. <sighs> Commander, are you okay? Silence! Zero, you are a maverick! What's your point? Are you that surprised? Ah, Zero, you're most impressive. Sigma, I will defeat you. Dun dun dun, storyline, dun 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 dun. Okay, here we go, final boss of the game. Ah, this will be fun. And I can't see him due to graphical glitches. Okay, so here you want to uh, uppercut him whenever he shows up not on a side. If he shows up right above you, just uppercut him. Uh, if he shows up on the edge uh, side, go to the opposite wall and jump over top of him. If you do these two things, you will 100% this, like, you'll do a flawless run of this. Just pay attention. If he goes to one side, go to the opposite. Just like so, and jump over top. It's that simple. Yoink. Oh jeez. Hello. That was close. Kind of. Not really, but I'll say it was. It was closer than the previous ones. Okay, so the second form here, he'll have his giant sickle. Uh, I've been waiting for you, Zero. It's time you said for us to settle this. Okay, so he will throw his giant sickle around. Uh, QN's on is the your friend here. Uh, so 
you want to make sure he hits the wall with his sickle when he throws it on his second attack. Then just uh, QN boo your way up here. And uh, just wait your wait it out. Just do, uh, use the QNs on wherever you feel comfortable. He always do this. These three attacks all in a row. So make sure he always hits the uh, wall with his uh, attack. So take your time. And uh, you'll get this 100% as well. It's pretty easy to do. Just get in an attacks whenever you can. Oh, geez. That was close. Okay, there we go. There we go. And now for the real jerk. Okay, so here we go. This is the final boss. This boss has three forms. He has this alien head form. Ha ha ha, you're finished, Euro. Iris is waiting for you. Uh, the, uh... The uh, three head form, which will use elemental attacks depending on which head he is attacking. Lightning's the most annoying. He will has this corner one as well. You want him to do this attack. This attack is the, your prime opportunity to go in and for the kill for that. Unfortunately, he doesn't do it often enough. The other attack, you do not get a chance to even attack him without taking severe amounts of damage. This form here, uh, okay, if he does this move. You want to stay in the air. If he talks, if he says the end, die, or whatever, you want to jump to avoid the attack. You just need to be in the air. That's how you avoid it. Uh, yes, good, good. Keep doing this move. If he does the other move, just in case he actually doesn't do it for some reason or something like that, you just want to go hide in the top right corner as soon as you're able to. Just go and hide up there and stay up there for the rest of the, the attack. And... Oh, come on. Give me a chance to kill you, man. Use the other move. Oh, jeez. Go away. Thank you. Okay. Go hide over here. Oh, good, good. Keep doing this. Keep doing this. Keep doing this. This guy's easier with zero, in my opinion, to be honest. He's a little harder to attack. It's a little harder to attack the ground head, but uh, the alien's head is much easier. As long as he stops doing this move that move, if he does the other iteration of the move. Oh, that was pretty cool. If I, if only I could have avoided the damage. Uh, oh, yes! Keep doing it! If he does the other one, you want to uh, just go in it, yeah, hide in the corner. You'll get take minimal damage. Oh, jeez. Okay. Focus on avoiding. Oh, jeez. Come on. God damn it! Stop doing that move, please! Oh, sweet. That was cool. Okay. Okay, this move. Okay, so once he starts doing that, go hide in the corner up here. There we go. Fiery move. Okay, just two up, two down. There we go, like that. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. Yes, good. Okay, destroy the red head. Okay, get a little bit close and just... QN boo and QN's on your way to victory. <laughs> if you sit here, he can't attack you. Don't get too close or else you'll touch his main body, which will hurt you. But, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, energy tank. I can do this. I can do this easily. Okay, let's go over here. Because if he does the other move, he'll suck you in and he'll get blocked by that other one. Okay, cool. Okay, two down, two up. Uh, I still got hit, damn. Okay, please don't do the, the end move. Damn it! Stop doing that so I can kill you. Alright, okay, lightning and fire move again. Yes, good. Go hide on the cables. What are you gonna do this time? Yes! Keep doing that! Yes! Making this battle easy for me. I wonder how good the uh, the, the uh, uppercut move is against that thing. Might be a better idea there. Okay, destroy you. Oh crap! A little too close.
Okay, here we go. Whoop! Okay. Uh, okay, fire move again. Oh, jeez, that was close. Okay. Right over here. Yes, please keep doing that. Oh, damn it! Okay, 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 okay. I'm good, I'm still good, okay. You know what, if he keeps doing that, I'm fine with it. Because as long as I get the other head dead, it's fine. Oh, jeez, okay. The other head's the annoying one. Oh, I should've just went up and attacked it. I'm gonna do it right now. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna use energy tank. Okay, uh, I'm pretty confident I can end this battle now. Okay. Woo! Okay, here we go. Awesome. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Okay, stop. Okay, take this fight seriously, Sean. It's not over yet. Now it is. <laughs> What's so funny? This weapon is aimed at Earth. No one can stop it. No. <laughs> Goodbye, Zero. General! Zero, I was wrong. Sigma, he blinded me to the truth. It's okay, rest. With my body, I can stop the weapon. But then you'll... It's over for this soldier. Farewell, General! So, this is what happened to me. This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. Iris! <laughs> Please stop, brother! Sarah! Iris, did we Reploids all turn out to be Mavericks after all? There we go. There is the Zero playthrough of Mega Man X4. At the end of the credits, there'll be a link to the uh, X playthrough if you have yet to watch it. Uh, I plan on continuing on with the uh, X series after this with X5. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I may do two runs of it as well because Zero and X are both playable characters, but it's a little bit different because you can interchange them in one playthrough. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens on that one. Uh, X5 has the one boss I hate the most in every all of this series of this game. It's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> I think it's X5. Yeah, it's X5. Yeah, it's X5. Yeah, it has the one boss I hate the most in the entire series of Mega Man <laughs> X. Oh, God. Uh, anyways. But, yeah, that was kind of uh, interesting. I, I have to agree. I like the story from Zero Side better. Although, to be honest, the X story... If, and, the, both the stories have information that's like the X story sets a background for the Zero story. Like you don't know who the general really is if you don't watch the X story. Like you learn more about the Repla Force, the general side of it. So you learn more about the general with the cutscenes in X story. But Zero story is more interesting in my opinion and better, as all corny, all the corniness aside, and the uh, bad lip flapping. And uh, dubbing over. That's the lip flapping there. Yeah. The bad dubbing. 
because it looked like they just didn't care. <laughs> hmm. Production AI. AI. What's the A stand for? Artificial. What's the I stand for? Intelligence. Oh, what's the A again? Moving on. All cop cam, cap, all cop cam staff. Oh, yeah. And all Capcom staff. Oh, Noritaka Funamai, Funamizu, Funamizu. Blah, blah, blah. I can't speak. <laughs> Yoshiki Okamoto, uh, Okamoto. I really can't. Okay, I can't read or speak right now. Jeez, I have a college degree now. You think I'd be able to do it? Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, favorite, subscribe, etc., etc., etc. Selling my soul out to the machine that is YouTube. Presented by Capcom. Woo! <clears throat> yeah. Pretty fun. Good times. Good times. And it did shoot. I noticed it in the X playthrough. I did take a look. It did shoot something. Whether or not that was just the pod returning or something, I don't know. But anyways, that will be that, I guess. The battle has ended, but for some reason, Zero's memories of the past continue to haunt his mind. As a hunter, it is his duty to go after those mavericks, and at the same time, he knows that it is, it, that it is his destiny to defeat his friend one day. Two different people, two different fates. In the future, Zero's decision will lead to, to two great hunters to tragedy. Will, uh, will lead two great hunters to... to strap the, the future is coming. That. Yeah, that. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Woo! Yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Anyway, see you guys.